So this video is because I wanted to start a video series where in addition to some more professional videos, I want to give you a kind of behind the scenes look at how a, I make a photo shoot and how a final image comes to be from concept through uh, pre-production planning, execution, and then final image delivery. So first today we're going to talk about the concept for the shoot that we're go you're going to see. This was something that came about really organically and I'm really excited about the creation process for it. So I really wanted to give you an idea of how that came about. I was in a photo, uh, <laughs> I was in a Facebook group for entrepreneurs and small business owners who are using social media. And we were talking specifically about what we call internet holidays. Uh, today is May 4th, so it's May the 4th be with you day and or Star Wars day and I was talking about how I didn't feel like that really goes with my brand my brand is high fashion my brand is very couture and high-end and I don't have pictures of models in Chewbacca costumes I don't really Photoshop people into fantasy scenes and I've seen some really beautiful images of people dressed up like Ray with the lightsaber and it's you know photoshopped to hell and it looks beautiful but that's not me and I was talking about this with these other business owners and I specifically said you know the sixth is lemonade day and I think it's going to look really weird if you go to my Instagram feed and you see fashion image fashion image fashion image fashion image, lemonade, fashion image, fashion image, fashion image, fashion image. Like that's uh, up for my top nine. That's just gonna look really weird at the point that I have a glass of lemonade in the middle. I'm already kind of stretching it on Cinco de Mayo with a picture of myself. I'm going to be out for margaritas because it's Cinco de Mayo. Um, and there's gonna be a picture of me drinking a margarita and that's already kind of weird, but kind of works. You don't want two pictures of me drinking two beverages on two different days, that's weird. This makes it more weird. And I don't want just a picture of a good glass of lemonade. That doesn't make any sense. So as I'm saying this, I'm like, I need, I just do fashion images. I do people looking glamorous and lemonade, right? And it kind of hit me as I was pushing send on the final post that, oh, Beyonce has an album called Lemonade. Beyonce's really high. Her first, first two videos out that came with the release of the album were pretty damn high fashion. And I started sketching out some ideas in my notebook and I went right back into the group and I said, oh my God, I'm so glad I talked to you guys about this. I have a really awesome creative idea for how I'm going to celebrate Lemonade Day. So I've done some very last minute pulling things together renting some last minute lights because the ones I usually use are being repaired right now because I busted them at Shutterfest. So I had to go rent some lighting real quick. I had to go rent some outfits real quick. Um, I, I totally just ran to H&M to get one piece. I'm really embarrassed about that. But You got to do what you got to do when you got 48 hours to go from concept to execution. And... May 6th is National Lemonade Day. I got a model. I've got an assistant. So I've got lights ordered. I've got a dress order. I've got some other accessory pieces purchased. I've got a model lined up. I've got an assistant lined up. Assuming that everything goes to plan and the few accessories that I still need to pick up at the mall are available to pick up. And I ordered one, so it should be waiting, waiting for me. It should be waiting for me soon. Assuming everything goes according to plan, Sunday's photo shoot's gonna be awesome. Um, of course, it couldn't happen on a worse weekend. <laughs> I've got my mother-in-law visiting, so we're supposed to be entertaining her and showing her how gorgeous Colorado is. And we're gonna take three hours outside of that to go do a photo shoot. But I'm really excited, I'm so excited about this. So hopefully everything works out and you're gonna get to see how this idea that I came up with in a group on Facebook as a throwaway kind of comment 
is going to turn into a high fashion photo shoot. So I hope you guys will stick around for the rest of the video. Okay, I hope that the dress is here for the photo shoot. It was a very last minute shoot. So I'm kind of really hoping that it's gonna be on my doorstep when I get home. Uh, please be there, please be there. <gasps> it's there. I'm hoping my dress for my photo shoot is there because I really need it to be at my doorstep when I get home. Please be there, 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 please be there. Oh, it's there. Thank God. I got you. I got keys. Figured to have something to post on social media, I'll do like a behind the scenes video. <laughs> we have to put the seat down. <laughs> oh shit. Got it. Oh, sorry, yeah. Let me get my water bottle. You guys all ready? Yeah. Cool. Oh, um, hold on. Work is expensive, but it's a business expense. Woo I'll leave it right there for now. Goodbye, Denver. I'll send you one. Cool. Thank you. Are you taking videos? Yay! Thank you! Lovely assist this is my lovely assistant Jamie. Took videos for me. I'm so happy. And Marcus got some videos for me. Also very happy. Hello. It is so something out of Road Warrior ahead of us on our way home. Like, what is that? <laughs> on our way back to Boulder. What a day. I'm gonna get my Vogue cap, yes. I'm gonna get my Vogue on. Not Vogue on, no.
No, my, I didn't change my clock because I my clock's kind of broken. The button doesn't change it, so I kind of can't. So it's actually 11.45, and I don't know where the UPS store is in Boulder. I, I usually go to the one in um, Lewis, well, Superior, Louisville, and I've got no freaking clue. It's supposed to be on Arapaho. I know that much. Um, and this light is not cooperating with me at all. So, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I cannot afford to pay for this dress. Crap, 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 crap. The exciting life of a photographer, right? Like, I just can't even do this right now. Come on, come on, light, change. Gotta be over there. It's, it's gotta be around the corner, in with like the King Supers, right? Yeah, that's where it's gotta be. Okay. 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 It's, it's gotta be over with the King Supers, so I guess we'll go around the corner. Traffic removes. So here's my work process, um, just to give you an idea of what happens after a photo shoot. Um, so this is all of the images from our photo shoot that we did. And what I'm going to do is I will go through one by one, ones where I tested the light, I'll just mark them as rejected. And we do, I, if you shoot with me, you'll see I'm, I'll be like, oh, I just need to try, test a few things for the lighting. because. One of the things a lot of photographers will tell you is, oh, I can only shoot between the hours of like seven and 10, or I only shoot between two and five, or like five and seven, because that's the quote unquote golden hour for their location. So you don't have to test for the light. You can set up, you know what the light situation's going to be. Um, they'll tell you straight up, I don't shoot at noon. Because if you shoot at noon and you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get really bad shadows. And you're going to get blown out highlights. And it's just going to look really wonky. So that if you ever have a photographer that says, I can only shoot at like 10 a.m. or 5 p.m., that's why. For me, I have to test my lighting because I come with a lot of lighting gear. So I can do photo shoots at like 5 or, you know, at 5 in the afternoon I can, or evening. I can also do photo shoots straight up at noon. 
this is an image, when I zoom in, you can see the lighting that we're doing on her. That is not light, that's not natural light. You don't get light like that at noon. That's from the lighting that we did. So just to give you an idea of how I go through and look at these pictures, this was one where I was 90% sure I had the lighting correct. The sky looks good. She's very well lit. I'm pretty happy with this photo because it gets the Union Station in there, although I might do something like crop it just to make it a little bit more focused about her. On the other hand though, I really like keeping the architecture in. I like the leading lines. I definitely like having where it says Union Station in there. And if I move it down like that, I feel like I'm, I might be kind of losing something. I mean, I'm looking at this going, eh, it's okay, the light's good, the lines are good, the shadow is good, but that's one of those kinds of pictures that I would work on for quite some time to try to figure out what the best crop would be for that. So that's kind of what that process would look like. And then once I've figured out an image that I want to work on that I that I'm really interested in, what I would do is we would start with selecting the image and I had one down here earlier. So we would take the image and when I'm selecting, I'm selecting for things like facial expression um, and then and also not just the lighting. Once again, this is shot at noon and you don't usually get that kind of lighting at noon. This is a lot of my assistant running around with holding a light in one hand and a filter in the other, which you should have seen. Um, trying to make sure that she's lit correctly. I like that there's a spot on her chin that I want to get rid of. Obviously it was a little cold outside and I would want to get rid of that. So what I do is I just move this image as it is because I want to keep going with that. I move that over to Photoshop and I'm not, this is not one of my social media images so I don't have to do any of those adjustments. So then I move it over into Photoshop. You can see the social media image one. She's got a little of a spot there on her chin. We want to take care of that. So I'm just going to grab it, pull it on over, bam, done. Of course, now I've duplicated those spots. Things never go right when I'm trying to do a video. I always make some little mistake because I'm really concerned about what I'm telling you guys. So, bam, spots are gone. We zoom out. We still have this problem here. I mean, and it might not be a problem for some people. I just don't want that to be in the image. I don't think that she wants that in the image. So we'll just take that, move it on over here, get the bottom half of it. Do -do -do. No more nipples. Done. I mean, you still can kind of see where the nipple was, and if I wanted to, I could keep working on it, but at least it's now, it kind of blends in with that one. And then I had already taken this image and made it my social media image for Lemonade Day, so after a few more adjustments, this is what we ended up with. And you can see it's really just taking this and fixing and getting rid of that nipple really the only difference between the final one that you see there and this one. So, you know, move that over there. Done. Super simple. Fixed. No problem now. And that's, that's basically why I make sure to shoot the way I shoot because this way I have it can take me maybe like a couple of minutes on an image. If I wanted to do something with one of my other images, like take and do a sky replacement to make the clouds more dramatic, like for example on this image here. If I wanted to do something where I do like some very dramatic clouds, we could do that. But I don't, I think that's overexposed. But for the most part, we can just swap in 
clouds, I can do other things with that. So some of those take a little bit longer, but most of the time I try to get it right in camera so that what you see, if I show you the back of my camera, what you're seeing on the back of my camera is what you're going to get delivered um, in the final image. Thank you.